Hello, today I'm going to show you Abby Flexi Capture for invoices. Specifically, we're going to focus on how the training is done in the system. Now, when we talk about training, we're talking about things that the software didn't find on its first round for a given invoice. Now, what you see in front of you is a vendor's invoice, and actually you see three of those are loaded here. Each of these invoices did not find two things. It didn't find the invoice number here, and you can see that there's nothing populated here under the invoice number. And it also didn't find any of our line item details. So that's what we're going to train the system how to do it. So the first off, what we do is we're going to select where the invoice number is. That is done by clicking in the invoice number field, selecting where that information is found on the invoice, and you'll see it will automatically populate that. Then what we will do is we'll come down to our line items. Now, line items are very, very easy. All we needed to do is kind of lasso around the line item area. And once we do that, we're going to say, hey, these are the line items. And then you see we have these fields here that we will start, start populating. First is the description. So we'll go here and we'll determine where this description is. And then we'll say where the quantity is. So we can simply click on the quantity and say that this goes to the quantity field. And you'll see down here it automatically populates the quantity. The same with the part number. And that will that's what we call the article number in the software. And you'll see it automatically applies the article number. We got the unit price, same thing, it will automatically populate, and the total price will as well. Now you see that's the first line item. Now in order to get those other ones to also be trained, all we need to do is right click in the area and say continue line items. And this is a pretty neat part because you see there, what it did is it automatically populated all of those things for the additional line items that it found. Once we're done, we hit the train button. And when we hit the train button, it will train the software on everything that we did. So we don't need to train it on every field individually. We train it once we're completely populated. And so we'll do the same thing over here on these other invoices. Once again, we select where the invoice number is. And then for the line items, we will lasso over the line item detail. We'll add it, and then we just start populating these fields once again. So we highlight where the description is, then we click on the quantity, and we map it to that field, the part number, which once again we call the article number, the unit price, and the total price. Then if we want to see those populated, we can right click, and you'll see they're automatically populated. So we will train that, and we only have one more. Once again, you click on the invoice number, you lasso over the line item details, and you start populating fields. We know that that's the description. We know this is the quantity. This is the article number. This is the unit price. And this is the total price. We can continue those line items. And you'll see here that they are populated. So once that's done, we will hit train. Now what the software is doing this time, because that is the third and final time, is it's actually learning where that information is. So once we do three documents or three invoices for a given vendor, the software will then apply that training. So now if we load a brand new invoice from that vendor, you will see, once it gets processed, that the invoice number and line items are now populated and there was no requirement for me to type in that information or to train it again. So here you see it. We have the line items, or I'm sorry, the invoice number here, completely populated. And we have all of those line items populated, including article number, description, quantities, unit price, and total prices for every line item. That is how the training is done in Abbey Flexi Capture. It's a very, very simple process. So if you have any questions, please feel free to contact us, and we'd love to help you out. Thank you so much.